topic for today is going to be how to improve the reliability on your cooling system of your BMW 325, 328, 323, and US version M3 for the E36 models. Some of the weaknesses these cars have is they're using plastic thermostat housings. They're using plastic pulleys throughout the system, water pump, power steering, etc. And we're using plastic impellers on some of the water pumps. Also what you want to look for are the plastic uh, coolant reservoirs on the radiators. They have a tendency to crack. And the small bleeder screws that are associated with letting the air out, bleed screws for some of the thermostat housings, water hoses, and a few of the um, coolant reservoir bottles. So what we're going to do is we're going to review these items and tell you how you can improve on them to make your vehicle more reliable. Here's one of the issues with the thermostat housings. Here's an original BMW thermostat housing that's made out of plastic. You can see over the time that it's been in the vehicle, there's been leakage coming from the profile gasket leaking out of the unit. And there's been some leakage around the lower part of the profile gasket. What typically happens here is as the plastic heat cycles several times, it has a tendency to warp this surface right here. And you can retighten and retort the bolts. You can retighten these bolts right here. Typically, what you're going to run into there, if you over tighten them, they have a tendency to crack the flanges. A good replacement unit would be to get an aluminum replacement aftermarket piece. It's much more durable, it's much more stable, it'll resist heat cycling. And if you do have a, a slight warpage or a leak at one point, you can take out the gasket, flat file it or sand it a little bit on a flat surface and you'll get that surface back again. Aluminum is much more stable and it will definitely stop leaking. Here's one of the biggest problems is plastic impellered water pumps. I don't rec recommend leaving this in your car at all. I don't know why these were invented but it must be some kind of a desire to sell water pumps. I've seen these impellers explode. I've seen pieces come off of them. I've seen them lodge down inside of the engine block. What typically happens is the car will overheat on a slight basis and then slowly it'll progress to a point where it's constantly overheating and you just never can figure it out. You replace the fan clutch, you'll replace the thermostat and a dozen other things and it's very hard to diagnose when you're not prepared to have this car equipped with, with a plastic impeller. Here's an example of another vehicle. This happens to be a Volkswagen pump, which has some of the same issues. They have a plastic impeller. And here, this impeller has come completely loose. And this vehicle's problem or symptom was that the vehicle just slightly overheated around town, and if you drove it on the highway, it would go into the red continuously. The cure for this is to purchase an aftermarket pump that uses an iron impeller which is what they've used for years. Even BMW used them years ago. And this impeller will never come loose. It, it'll be pressed onto the shaft and it'll stay there for many years. I've never seen one of these come off. Now, if you want to go above and beyond that, there are some high performance water pumps. This is the Stewart water pump. And this one is designed to flow water, have better flow characteristics. It has a larger bearing inside the housing, so this will support superchargers and things that put extra stress on the pulley assembly. And it's a stainless steel impeller that won't rust, corrode, or anything. It's a little bit more money, but this will probably be a lifetime pump for you. Here's another thing you have to be careful of. Plastic pulleys. These things have a tendency to crack. You'll get little chips out of them if you ever destroy a belt. What's going to end up happening, it'll take a little chip out possibly. Anytime you get a plastic pulley that has any kind of defects on the outside, you want to replace it. They're not that expensive. Another thing that occurs is when you're taking the fan clutch off the vehicle and you're using your holding tool to hold the water pump like this, if you put any kind of torque on those two bolts, you can fracture these holes. And you want to be very careful of that. If you get any kind of fracture lines going through there, you'll want to replace the pulley because 
if you get this thing mounted and you feel good that it's on there okay and there are some fracture lines underneath it that pulley will end up coming apart on the highway somewhere because there's a lot of stress and tension on it so always replace plastic pulleys so anytime there's a power steering pulley or any pulley that's made out of plastic it's been on the car for five six years it's worth the investment just to get a new one here's a little item that's put a lot of cars into the leak zone here and it's these little plastic bleeder screws that are on the thermostat housing of E39 models and they're also typically on the coolant tanks of some models and they're just a screw that's designed for you to allow the air to escape when you're trying to bleed the system what happens with these little bleeder screws is as the plastic fatigues the heads pop off so you can tighten them down you snug them down actually you gotta be careful how, how tight you get them and you'll snug them down and a day or so later after they've heat cycled once or twice especially if this bleeder screw is older what it'll have a tendency to do is pop the head right off of it once it's popped the head off of it you'll have a water leak all over what we've done is we've developed this brass bleeder screw that replaces it has no chance of the head coming off of it and it eliminates one more chance of a leak somewhere now another thing you want to look for on plastic coolant bottles they have a tendency to crack at the weld seams meaning where they're glued together this one here exploded on us and the vehicle just spewed out all the water because what you're looking at is about 14 psi of water pressure when the car's hot and if you start driving it harder that water pressure will exceed that a little bit and all of a sudden it'll bust open at the seams this was not that old of a reservoir it was probably only a couple three years old they also have a tendency to crack lengthwise on corner seams they'll also have a tendency to sometimes strip out the small bleeder screw um, hole you gotta watch that and all these little tiny little um, bleeder hose nipples and stuff you want to watch them right at the edges there they have a tendency to crack just from flexing and they'll have a tendency then to, 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 to leak on you what you want to look for around these seams is look for any residue any white residue running down the sides that's telltale sign of antifreeze stains that have been sitting there for a while it's the same kind of stain that we have on this thermostat housing all of this white stain that you see around here all of this stuff is evidence of coolant leaking that has dried up so always look for that because that's going to be what causes um, what you're going to be looking for in order to have to replace these things